This is the alternator I took out from Volkswagen Golf Mark IV 1.9 TDI. How to remove and install alternator into your car? Uh, see my other video. There is a link below in video description. There can be a few reasons why you want to replace your alternator. Reason number one, it's not charging. That means more likely brushes worn out. Uh, then uh, reason two, it's too noisy, so it could be bearing front or back. In this video, we will look into reason number one, alternator is not charging, and see what can we do about it. First, let's remove the plastic cover from the back. It's held by two 15mm nuts and one 7mm bolt. So we take our 15 millimeter socket and remove these two nuts and remove the bolt with the 7 millimeter socket. They all have a bit of a thread lock on them. So the cover is off. This bit here is a voltage regulator, also brush holder. It's held by three screws, one, two, and three, that can be removed with crosshead screwdriver. Crosshead screwdriver. And another one, they all have a bit of a thread lock on them. And the last one. With the last screw out, it springs out a bit. So this is your voltage regulator and brush holder. And these two little bits are your brushes. While the alternator is spinning, there's constant friction between these brushes and uh, these two rings on a rotor, these two. With the mileage, these brushes wear out and they get smaller and they lose contact to those rings and that's the most common reason why your alternator is not charging. In this alternator, when they knew they normally 12 mm long and they need to be replaced when they go down to 5 mm. So we can measure them. One of them is 12, another one is 10. So it's pretty new brushes. So we're gonna put them back in. So if brushes on your alternator worn out, this is what you want to get new brush holder, new voltage regulator. If there is a problem with those metal rings inside, if they were out, manual says that you need to get new alternator really, or you can try to remove the um, rotor, see what you can do about it. But normally the most common reason is brushes. Now let's put it back together. and put cover back on. Simple. As you can see, this is a simple fix. Probably can be done without taking alternator out if you have a good access. For more stuff about this car, some other car, see my website, wheelsandmotors.com. Thanks for watching. See you there.